zmieścić w tych terminach podanych w harmonogramie. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll try to follow the schedule. Perhaps, uh, hopefully, we'll be successful. So, um, since uh, we're past our scheduled time, let us begin. The first uh, present, presentation in the afternoon session will be given by Katarzyna Słuchocka from Poznań. I believe that the author should give the title of the presentation because it always sounds uh, better and nicer, ladies and gentlemen. We all very well um, fed. Um, we had a great lunch. Uh, so let me start by saying that I'm happy to be here and happy to present uh, um, to you my paper. And every time when we are at uh, the meeting, at uh, the conference here, uh, we're wondering about the concept, the theme of the next conference, and uh, we're very much uh, uh, amazed by the invention of uh, authors, uh, creators, because these topics are interrelated and combine and connect uh, um, authors, uh, the, uh, those who are more uh, on the academic side and more on the practical side, and we are happy that we can provoke that debate. So from this point on, I would like to invite you to uh, uh, talk about, uh, to discuss uh, space in the city, in streets and perception of architecture, depending on what we perceive. If my research oscillates between architecture and uh, art, the image, which is the, the visual uh, image and uh, reality, were are almost identical, and evoke a deep reflection and um, consideration and perception uh, occurs on the sensual level. Um, we, our perception comes through our vision, but we have this perception of space and multi-sensual recognition of space uh, triggers multiple uh, and various reactions. We uh, receive images which are a form of communication and we carry that communication, that message with us and within us and we have our personal understanding and we have a dialogue uh, with these images and our experience. And then as to the multi-sensuality, we have that multi-image concept. It is not a single slide or single frame. We have some connections, references, reactions, and only through the interpretation we perceive certain concepts which then uh, we transform into experience. At, as it comes to the perception of urban tissue, in urban planning, we have streets, uh, quarters, districts, uh, main points, dominant and uh, uh, targets, and um, therefore we have this combination, which is a composition of different elements, and that prompts us to grow and develop. It could block uh, the development, but it also prompts us to to add some new concepts here. Sometimes that would be a predefined uh, property of space and uh, it causes certain uh, valuation of the space and sets uh, the space in a ranking of space. And then following what Michal Stangel said, there are uh, much research uh, that speak about the quality of urban space, the quality of living, and uh, therefore, uh, we can 
state that the surrounding space affects our mental health and our mental capacity. Positive impressions should, this is something that should be happening, space should improve our mood and to give us this positive attitude to reality. It is not enough to see architecture, one should experience architecture, one should understand and see how it's been designed and how it co-works with the general concepts. Um, and Rasmussen said that, and he pointedly argues that architecture cannot be recognized without having a close contact with it. And the quality of uh, space perception, it depends on the aura, on the weather, on uh, our mood or the architectural context and how it uh, comes together with the designation of that space. So perception or designation of the urban space as a complex uh, sensual process combines a three-dimensional uh, element into one being, creating that image which I uh, discussed. Professor Swick also spoke about it. He spoke about inertia. He spoke about the digital um, aspects. So this is about the space and what we get. So there is this growing demand for the larger and heavier uh, scale of feeling stimuli. Such stimuli may come in uh, space like Times Square in New York. This um, space is full of movement and full of color, is absorbed with all these colors and perhaps very often that colorful nature uh, seems chaotic, well, that space is so absorbed with the, that uh, certain multitude of images that the chaos is perceived as good order. So we could debate about that uh, every chaos has its uh, origin or beginning and its definition and its uh, concept. So let us go back to the street and to the space. So in following up on this growing escalation and perception of stimuli, as humans we also expect that the emotions will be coming in waves and in levels so that happens in young people, young people, teenagers, uh, they use very different um, um, technological equipment and that uh, nature of human space may uh, contribute to introducing chaos into life of uh, urban community. The speed of delivering information, the quality of information is very much intensified. So therefore, the images of commercials which surround us in the space of New York turn us into participants of that performance, of that spectacle. We have the impression that we participate in that virtual world and one can stand them, and one can be just a participant of that performance. We're in that tactile and uh, sound uh, audio part of the space, and that is also felt through our digital tools. Here we have some examples from the city of Łódź that has been already discussed today. They, they date back to the time before digital images. So all the advertising had to be placed at the site level. That was the concept of putting up all the messages at the site level. It was their task 
role to uh, fulfill their commercial role, which was to attract buyers, uh, which was to increase sales of commercial goods. The advertising that we discussed such as light or digital images, they actually add a new quality on the existing image of the urban space. Let me now go back to the function of a street. So, high street, uh, street of... Uh, for parades is, well, that concept no longer holds because nowadays space has uh, uh, been using a very different and, and having a very different function. Normally, we would have that uh, Im image of a certain street system with certain details. And one can see that somewhere, perhaps, but not in Times Square. Times Square is the space uh, where all the commer sellers of commercial space or sellers of advertising want to be. Space was supposed to be designed for humans, so humans can feel at ease, where can, they can feel comfortable. So a human being also has some expectations that go beyond that expected image of a high street. At the Times Square, in order to augment that uh, digital impact, mm, traffic, has been rearranged. So the space of the 7th Avenue was transformed into that performance or theatrical uh, space. During the day, the commercials are invisible. So during the day, uh, it is about 1.5 uh, million of uh, screening of commercials in the Times Square. Everyone who comes to New York would like to see Times Square, so this is how that works. So we have this architectural space, and considering its impact on uh, the participants, on the audience, well, they carry the commercials. So the architecture of urban context is just a supporting structure of that stage design for advertising, for billboards. So we have a progressing commercialization of space, which affects our perception of space. So apart from that commercial aspects, one should focus on the quality of that space, which is street and which is not a street at the same time. So we have that concept of a street uh, with buildings towering above it, and that contributes to impressions from the level of an observer upwards. And uh, here on the right uh, slide, you can see our uh, how we follow uh, the towers with uh, our side. So that was the added value, this extra uh, architecture. So when we move our we look upwards, uh, well, these objects are deprived of details. Everything is aimed at going high. So the higher, the better. That's yet another race which may be closed uh, with uh, a viewing balcony. So the aesthetic uh, interplay of glass and uh, reflection of sky and clouds, this is a fascinating phenomenon and combination of these images, but it's an escape upwards. When having, um, uh, when, when perceiving the space, one could also quote Jan Gell here. He said that uh, low buildings along the street harmonize with the way people move and with the way people's senses function, as opposed to tall buildings, which do not harmonize with these. 
This phenomenon has been used in marketing. So the pedestrian was relieved of the need to look upwards for attractions in these uh, spaces. So the readable intensity set of stimuli most look to the level accessible to an eye, so that the human being no longer needed to look for attraction uh, upwards, advertising has been planned. So this aspect of uh, um, Mm, buildings uh, moving upwards um, at the defined scale and not material scale. That was all um, massed in that space, in that parade or high street. The marketing sector and sales sectors have been using um, the value of that advertising space with a very, uh, very, uh, very uh, defined colors. Architecture disappears. In Times Square, there is no architecture. There are just eyes, um, monitors. And then the, the, these uh, fronts of clean and glass uh, front or facade, they do have an impact and they work as corridors leading, leading to the certain direction. So they compensate for insufficiency of rich, uh, beautiful details and uh, columns and supports and elimination of a small dimensional detail. Uh, leads to uniformity of, of uh, structures and there is this uh, concept to fill the gap with the so-called space for advertising and that uh, com well, adds to that uh, perception uh, vacuum or perception emptiness. Uh, well, and the fact of its reading, it depends on the distance, on the visibility. People from advertising and uh, marketing industry know that advertising success is a balance between the location of the advertisement, the right place in the city space, the size of the advertising space, and the broadcast contest. Joanna Pełek Mikulska uh, wrote about the advertising on the largest LED carrier on the Times Square when the New Year's Eve ball is lowered with the inscription on the next year. Next beginning of the year, but ball drop reaches up to three million a year. Note that uh, owners of that high rise at the junction of Broadway and Seventh uh, Avenue earn twenty three million dollars a year, um, and this is from the billboards placed on it. That's a substantial amount, but uh, uh, inexpensive when compared to a thirty second Super Bowl spot, which costs up to three point eight million for one quick show. So, so that chaos created a new quality and it attracts uh, uh, tourists and it is a general attraction of New York. Then um, human needs uh, generate uh, new forms of space which respond to challenges with varying degrees of success. How then in the phenomenon of New York exemplary Times Square and designers to find themselves? Where is the place for architects, urban planners and their projects who studies urban plans and creations of intricately composed spatial forms consequently become extra stress in the eye-catching hormonal well-known operations, commercial and manufacturing organizations. One could agree with Winston Churchill who said that we shape cities and they shape us. In the environment of new technologies and multi-level interprofessional cooperation, the use of digital tools to create reality, communication using VR and AI effects, architects, urban planners and many other professions draw on the achievements of modern science. Urban cities like a kaleidoscope, if meet all the needs at present, they can be seen. It is like a mirror. It reveals good decisions, but also reflects the effect of bad one giving a picture of the place and time in which we live. 
It can lead to the right solutions. It can also prompt suggestions and offer the right path. It gives the image of the space and time in which we are to live. Perhaps commercialization of space is a new phenomenon, a temporary element strongly acting in the space around us, and it perhaps input the value in time, giving rise to the need for further changes. A durable, useful and beautiful architecture will in essence remain unchanged, able to meet them in an unpretentious and timeless manner, perhaps being bored, tired or overstimulated we will feel the need to clean up our image of reality. Perhaps these LED uh, displays will disappear and perhaps we will want to reject what is excessive and noisy loud in its expression. Will we then see one Times Square in its original version shouting like in Christian Andersen's uh, fairy tale, the king is naked? And now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to invite you to a very brief presentation. A sound and image uh, that would pre that are is to present the quality of perception and the quality of um, vision. Well, that comes with a walk, a stroll across the city. Um, uh, augmented um, impact of one Times Square on a, on a participant, on a pedestrian, and how that um, disturbs our existence. Dziękuję.